Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we have another wax haul today. <laughs> Excuse me. So this is Twilight Garden Wax. Um, this is leftovers from the Halloween pre-order, like the advent boxes. Um, I don't think she did all of the blends as extras that she did. Um, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, but... I assume that she wouldn't do all of them because then it would kind of be a spoiler to people that haven't opened theirs yet. So as you can see right away, the paper is black. Usually she has that medium to dark purple paper in here. And it is black for Halloween. It has the same cute little butterfly. And this got here really quickly. I mean, I just ordered it last week and it's... Monday now, so it's already here. And, of course, these cute Halloween squigglies. I'm going to move the box aside, though, so that we have more room. So, at the top of the box, we have her card. Some instructions. For curing stuff like that size of the room warmer blah de blah -de. and my invoice I'm just gonna open it really quickly all right so I'm gonna move some of the squigglies let's just set them up here so they can look really cute in our frame So, I see a sample right here. Ooh, there's candy. Sorry, guys. I haven't done an actual unboxing in a while. This is more like full unboxing style, except I moved the box to the side. Um, usually, I, I open the stuff first and look at it and smell it and label it, but I did not do that this time. Ooh. And look what else. Oozing candy blood bag. It's like a gooey blood snack. And some teeth. This is really cute, you guys. I'm really, really liking that she did this. How sweet of her. Alright, so let's get right on into this. So this is the sample. It is a cute pumpkin. It's actually a pretty thick pumpkin. Uh, haunted breakfast and the scents the scent notes aren't on the samples unfortunately so sorry I don't really know what the scent notes are I don't know I just smell cinnamon the cinnamon is very very strong so I I just smell cinnamon for some reason but that's okay so, one of the things that was sticking out at the top, and it's pink, so it's cute. I had to pick this first. A haunted Carnival, a delicious blend of fried funnel cake, crisp caramel apples, and fluffy cotton candy. So, it looks like there's, like, an eyeball, a worm, a skeleton, and what is this? A finger, maybe? I don't know what this is. Is it like a chainsaw blade? Mmm. This smells really, really good. The apple isn't like too overpowering. Let me take out the worm. Wow, this smells really, really nice. I wish I had got more of this. This is like the perfect fall. Like, it really reminds you of the fair. That caramel apple is so nice. It's more of a sweet apple. It's not that, like... It says crisp apple, but it's, to me, it doesn't smell like that crisp, sharp... Mm, the fried funnel cake and the fluffy cotton candy. The cotton candy in this is so true to scent and so strong. I really like this. I wish I got more than one. Um, Season of the Witch. They are skeleton hands. 
a blend of blackberries, apple, melon, magnolia, marshmallow, vanilla, sugar, and woodsy notes. And it sounds like it's right up my alley, so I'm sure I'm going to regret only getting one. Yeah, it smells like blackberry magnolia to me. But, it has that little bit of a woodsy note at the end, which I don't think the blackberry magnolia from her has. This is really nice. Wow. And you do get a lot of, you get, like, at first you always are going to get, like, the main notes, the first notes, which is the blackberries, apples, melon, magnolia. But then when I'm sniffing a little bit more, that marshmallow and that woodsiness comes out. Ugh, it smells so good. I really, really like this one. And then we have Jack Snacks, a delicious blend of sweet pumpkin, soft molasses, cookies, and butterscotch. Hmm. This doesn't have much uh, cinnamon in it. You can smell it a little bit, but it's it's really light. And it does look like, you know, like a cutout cookie. It's really cute. I love the aesthetic of this. Maybe it's that molasses that I'm smelling, the cinnamon, because it does smell like a little more richer, but it's hard to explain. I wish that it had a touch more butterscotch, but that's because I'm like obsessed with butterscotch. And then I got two of these. I know I did. Oh, look, you guys, I got two of Season of the Witch. Fabulous. And I got two of this. I just can't find the other one. I know it's in there. Uh, Franken Boo Cake, a blend of Frankenberry, Booberry, and Fluffy Cake. And her Frankenberry is like my favorite. It's to die for. I don't really like Booberry that much, but I figured, you know, why not? I'm going to try it. And this is just so adorable. Oh my goodness. Mmm, her Frankenberry smells so good. You guys, look at this. It really looks like a little mini cupcake that you could just take a little bite out of. It is so cute. This video is just not doing it justice. It's adorable. And I would have gotten way, way more of these. I wish that it came in like a two-pack, to be honest. I wish it came in a two-pack because then you would have like, since I got two, I would have four little cupcakes. But I really, really like that. Oh, there's the second one. Oh, this one's the opposite with the blue on the top. Let's take it out. I'll show you both of them. This one has the blue frosting instead of this one having the pink. And I do like that it varies like that. So it's not the same exact one every time. And then we have Scary Stories, a spooky blend of fresh picked pumpkin, soft autumn flannel, and rain on a crisp autumn day. And I wasn't entirely sure about this one, but I had to get it because it's it just the pictures were amazing. It just looks so cute. So I'm gonna try and take it out very carefully. Oh my goodness. Look at this little book, you guys. These are so cute. They're like the Fimo charms. Like the Fimo clay Fimo thingies. I'm definitely getting the soft autumn flannel. I don't get a whole lot of that rain scent, but I do get the pumpkins and the flannel. This is just so cute. Let me try and take a photo of it. Hold on. There we go. We caught we got a couple good photos. I just wanted to take it while we were already here and I already had it out of the bag cuz I I can already see that I'm going to have a hard time. Oh, there we go. I got it. I used my brain. I got it. <laughs> 
All right, so we're going to just move right on. Halloween hot cakes, a delicious blend of sweet pumpkin, peaches, pancakes, and gooey maple syrup. And you can see through the bag, it's so flipping cute. I can't even, it's so cute. Mmm. Trying to get it out very carefully. It's so cute. Sorry, I was taking a picture of it again. It definitely smells like her regular hotcakes, but with the pumpkin added. For some reason, I'm not getting peaches, but maybe it'll come out more on warm. I don't really smell peaches for some reason, but I think that that cinnamon pumpkin scent could be just overpowering it. Ugh, could barely close the bag. This one is pretty tight in there, as you can see. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's more samples in here. Let me get my chair. So let's go to these samples, Cujo Bites. I remember seeing this and it was so adorable. It was like vampire teeth with blood, but there was something in it that I didn't like, I remember. Maybe it's cherry. I don't know, it does, it smells like cinnamon and it kind of almost has like a tobacco or bourbon scent to it. This one does smell okay. Um, well, it smells good. But it's not something that I would want to use all the time. Eerie Jungle. I'm wondering if this has the Lush Jungle scent. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I think it does have the Jungle scent from Lush. And I'm smelling like some sort of patchouli or something. I don't know. I can't really pick up what this one is, but it's a black pumpkin and it's so cute. It's definitely more of like a strong masculine scent. I'm not entirely sure about it. Um, I got two of these brittle bags and the scent is called Trick or Treat. A blend of vanilla ice cream, candy corn, buttercream, bonfire, leaves, woods, marshmallow, and coconut. And I wish I got more than just two because these are amazing. I mean, look how cute that is. And that's a huge piece of brittle. So let's take this one out. Because that one's just one big piece. This one has some little pieces in the back. I'm going to take a little piece out to smell it. Wow. Oh my goodness. So bonfire can usually be like too sharp for me. Like the Bonfire Bliss scent, I don't really like it. It's too crisp and sharp on that woody note. And the same thing with leaves. But this, with that buttercream, candy corn, ice cream. The coconut is very light. It's like in the background of this. But this is really, really amazing. I'm obsessed with this. I'm glad that I got two, but I do wish that I had gotten more of it. I think I'm going to really, really enjoy melting this. So I am going to let it cure. Save it for October. It's going to be really good. Oh, there's one more candy in here. There's a lollipop. A mystery lollipop. And we have Creepy Cake. A blend of delicious cake, vanilla, pumpkin, marshmallow, and caramel. And it is literally a little piece of cake. It's so cute. Let me take it out. And you guys, I just love Twilight Garden wax. I really do. Wow. I was so not expecting this. The caramel is there quite a bit for me. The caramel and the cake scent. The pumpkin is more in the background, but you guys look at the detail. I mean, and this is why I love her stuff. 
And yes, I am a rep for Twilight Garden Wax, but she does not pay me to say this stuff. She does not send me this stuff for free. I buy this stuff with my own money, and I get a discount code for you guys to use on your orders, which is Alicia10, A-L-I-C-I-A-1-0. You can get 10% off your order. Um, I probably should have said that at the beginning, so sorry about that. I was just so excited to get into this. But yeah, this definitely, I get the cake and the caramel right up front. And I was not expecting that with this. I think with pumpkin and like pumpkin cinnamon, pumpkin spice, it, that can overpower stuff. And I'm just so glad that this is not overpowered by that pumpkin. So this one is one that I assumed I would like a lot. And I tried to get more than one of, but it wouldn't let me check out with it. So I got my one little bag, and we will see if I enjoy it as much as I was anticipating. Um, a delicious blend of pumpkin bread, cornbread, hazelnuts, and fluffy marshmallow. I mean, doesn't that sound amazing? Really, it does. This says approximately two ounces. So I could get about four melts if I cut these into two pieces per piece. Mmm. Unfortunately, I am getting quite a bit of cinnamon. So, it's kind of overpowering it. I can smell cornbread a little bit. But for some reason, I'm not smelling hazelnuts on cold. But I'm sure it'll come out some when I melt it. I am a little bit disappointed. But it's still so, so cute. And it does smell good. I'm just not huge on cinnamon like it kind of cinnamon kind of burns my nose a little bit for some reason so I don't like to melt cinnamon because then it like it stays on the warmer for a little bit and it stays in the air and yeah I don't really want to feel that in my throat which I can right now <laughs> all right so I have two of each of these um, this is Halloween an automobile blend of leaves, cider lane, and pumpkin. And these are round clamshells. Um, 2.3 ounces, it says. See if I can open this. Figure out how to open it. Just one second, guys. Ugh. Wow, this actually smells really good. Her cider lane is really nice. The leaves are not overpowering and too crisp. The Cider Lane is not too cinnamon. I mean, it could always be different on the bottom side, so maybe I should pop it out and see. Ooh, and now I just made those fall off. Let me see if I can... Yeah, the leaves and the pumpkin cinnamon sort of smell come out a little bit more on the bottom, but it's not it's not too strong, and I'm glad about that. And I did lose some of the sprinkles, so sorry about that. They all kind of fell off. So I got two of that. I'm not going to open that one because it is the same. And the last thing that I got is Visions. I got two clamshells of that. It's purple, 2.3 ounces approximately. Um, a blend of pumpkin, ginger, apple, pie crust, marshmallow, vanilla, and nutmeg. I wasn't entirely sure about this one, but it, the picture was so cute. I just had to, I had to get this based on what it looked like. I don't usually like ginger ah, or nutmeg. Hmm. Let me, let me open the other one. I want to see if they both smell the same. Ugh. Can't get it open. <clears throat> so, I think the ginger is throwing me off. It's either the ginger or the nutmeg. Something's throwing me off. But this is Visions. And it's an eyeball. Now you can see why I was so excited about this one. And I was going to get it regardless of what it smelled like. And I will have to take it out of the clamshell to smell the bottom of it. Because for some reason I'm having a hard time smelling it. So. I 
I am getting the apple pie crust marshmallow. A little bit of the pumpkin, but I think that ginger is throwing me off. Maybe it's either the ginger or or the nutmeg. I don't know. It's It smells good. It's just not entirely what I was expecting, but like I said, I was going to buy it regardless of what it smelled like. So I will have to try a piece of it and see what happens because it does smell pretty good. I'm just kind of... I'm kind of confused like my brain's like what am I smelling but it does smell good so that was the last thing you guys I think yes that was the last thing and I'm not gonna do the pan around this time because I just have it all in a pile here but um, I will post photos on my Instagram I'm gonna try and get like a larger photo here um, Again, you can use my code Alicia10, A-L-I-C-I-A. -I -I. Um, you can get 10% off. I do post when her restocks are, so if you don't have me on Instagram yet, I will leave a link to that in the description. She always gives samples. She has really good prices. Her stuff is so detailed, so cute. The best ideas. She she is just so great. I really, really enjoy her products. And she's just such a kind person. I just love her. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell so you are alerted when I post new videos. Uh, thank you so much.